Hey guys, so today I'm going to cover something that people have been asking for quite a while now and it's something to do with an objective system now. Um, the way I'm going to show you it's going to be as a very simple, you know, as I would normally show something and can be expanded on in any way, you know, you see fit. But um, it's going to show you something, you know, which is going to have five different textures, show GUI is appearing, changing when you go across different colliders and it'll just you know show you some simplicity so what I've got in my scene is I've got some particles and these particles have only been you know created to show this it doesn't have to be particles it can be an object that you've picked up it could be something that you've walked to it could be when you've walked into a new area but all these particles have got a box collider with is trigger um, ticked so they're exactly the same but just put in different areas so I can just show it working um, I've got five different textures so um, I've got objective up to four um, which in turn just changed so shows objective objective one two three four and they're all set to as type GUI and this is what we're going to use to you know make it appear in the top of the screen so realistically all we're going to do to start off is going to create a new JavaScript and call this object objective manager what we'll do is open this up in mono develop and then we'll get the new um, option so we'll delete the two functions and we'll say for variable objective one as type boolean equal to false now I'm gonna copy this another four times set one two and then five times and then change it to objective two objective three objective four and then objective five and similarly I'll write a new variable call it texture one as type texture and then as I did we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste this in the four times and then we're gonna in turn change these to texture one two three four and five and then underneath here we're gonna say function on GY close the two brackets open the curly brackets and say if objective one oops objective 1 is equal to true then we'll close off the brackets open up the curly brackets and say gui dot draw oops dot draw texture open up brackets rect open up another bracket say 10 comma 10 comma 750 comma 150 close that put a comma write texture 1 close the brackets and put a semicolon now all this does is draws the texture that we've added in when we will add it to the inspector um, 10 across 10 down and then whatever size of the image that you want it to be so mine's 750 across and 150 down now what we want to do is actually as we've copied a few over we're just going to do again we're going to copy it paste it in another four times and change that to objective 2 objective 3 objective four and objective five and similarly with this we're going to say texture two texture three texture four and texture five and then we'll save that out and this is all we're doing for the management side so we'll go back into unity we'll go on to your first person controller or wherever you want to, wherever you want to add it then drag objective manager onto there also while we're here make sure that your player is tagged player or your first person controller is tagged player and then what we want to do is we want to add all our textures here obviously however many textures you've got you want to create and you can you know delete as appropriate I've just got five to show it works with as many as you want to add when you've added all your um, um, textures in that's all we need to do for that I'll just add this to my objectives folder for now and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new JavaScript and we will call this Objective 1. And then what we'll do is we'll open up Objective 1 in Mono Develop and I'll delete these two functions and I'll write private variable Objective Manager as type Objective manager as we would spell in the um, script then we'd say function start 
close the two brackets, open up the curly brackets and say object manager is equal to game object dot find open brackets quotes first person controller close that up say um, dot get component open brackets objective manager close that up add a semicolon then under there we'll say function on trigger enter open up the brackets call colon collider close those brackets add two curly brackets and say if call dot tag is equal to player we'll add two brackets under there and then say destroy open brackets game object close that up put a semicolon and then what we'll say is object manager dot objective make sure it's lowercase objective one is equal to true and what this does it just finds the other script that we created and whatever variable we, ha variable we had we're just going to change the value from false to true now what I'm going to do here is like before paste in another four times change this to objective 2, objective 3, objective 4 and objective 5 so when we've gone over a particular collider it key, you know it sets the values accordingly so we don't um, make any of the GUI appear at any one time then we're changing all these to false because we don't want the others to appear so we'll save that out and what we'll do is we'll keep hold of this one and what we're going to do is duplicate this um, four more times so you just can press select the object and press ctrl D once, twice, three times, four times and it'll pretty much create what you want so then we can open objective 2 in mono develop and we want to keep, um, keep everything exactly the same except we just each time we're going to change the one that we want according to what the actual objective is so objective 2 equals true everything else is false I'll do one more then I'll pause the video and you know just to speed this up then we're going to change that back to false and we're going to make 3 equal to true so you get what I'm doing I'm just adding making 1 equal to true every time so now I've done all my objectives what I'm going to do is I'm going to add each of my objectives to my actual objects that are going to do something so I'll add it to each of one of my particle effects so each one accordingly to how I want it to happen so now when we press play you'll notice that nothing happens and I've got all the particle effects going on now I'll walk into the one I want and obviously that gets destroyed we've got a new objective and then you can you know you have this appearing fading whatever you like then we walk into the other you know we'll get a new objective and the other one goes away we'll walk into the other we get another objective walk into the other we get another and you know as you expect we walk into it again and we've got our last objective now obviously you can you know make change these to any way that you particularly see fit um, now that's pretty much the entirety of what I was going to show but something I've just thought about is what you could change um, if you didn't want the um, objectives to last forever so what we what we can do is actually create a new funk call this objective dis for disappear and we'll add two um, semicolons I mean two brackets and a semicolon then we'll say function objective dis two curly brackets then we can say yield wait for seconds open brackets say two seconds add a semicolon then we'll say objective one is equal to false and then what we can do is minimize that play the game go back into here we'll walk into our texture and then after two seconds it disappears again because we can't actually use a um, yield 
inside um, a GUI object so you have to do it outside you can make a timer but for, for ease and simplicity I've just used it here and what you could do to make this work for any texture you could add that function to each of these and make sure you turn them all to false after you've waited two seconds so you know you don't have to write loads of functions for each one so that's pretty much just the simplicity of making um, an objective system nothing crazy nothing too complex but hopefully that'll help you out all right as ever thanks very much for watching if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers